Back in the day, Green Party politicking was characterized by protest and going up against the establishment. The issues were nuclear power, the environment, and war. And typically for left-wing parties, the Greens were splintered with lots of infighting. Today, protecting the climate and the environment is mainstream. Nuclear power is winding down in Germany, and the street protests are the stuff of folklore. I think it's very important for the Greens not to go running after every kind of protest, but to take on political responsibility and show leadership. Case by case, that could mean telling people who've supported us in the past that this is where we part ways. On Thursday, the Bundestag sealed the fate of nuclear power in Germany on an initiative by the conservative liberal governing coalition. One of the Greens' most hard-fought battles was a bittersweet victory. They did get what they wanted most, but only by looking on and quietly voting in favor. We've all had a part in changing our country. Today is a great day for Germany, and I can tell you we're as strong as ever. And we're going to keep changing our country till we achieve a truly sustainable, responsible economy that doesn't live at the expense of others. It was the anti-nuclear protests that brought many Greens into the party in the first place. Clashes with the police at the fences around the former West Germany's nuclear facilities forged bonds that are still strong today. For many Greens, fighting nuclear power was a purpose in their life. Now the fight has been won. The Greens are a success story. But now they have to deal with that success and think about where to go from here on. Of course, it's a major challenge for us to change our thinking from that of an innovative force to a leading force in our society. That's obvious. It means big challenges for my party and for all of us. It's quite a change to go from pushing from a minority position to governing from a leading position. In May this year, Winfried Kretschmann became the first Green Premier of a German state. His election victory in traditionally arch-conservative Baden-Württemberg has been the peak of the Green streak of success so far. Kretschmann envisions change for the Greens. His vision is of a mainstream Green Party, one with a new generation and a new breed of supporters. You might say we're no longer the mouthpiece of environmentalists, but of a whole cross-section of society. I realize that I'm the premier of a car manufacturing state. I also have to speak for the automotive industry. The Greens have to learn the business of government, and that means talking to their adversaries. Christian Democrat and former Environment Minister Klaus Töpfe was invited to speak at a Green Party rally, and he even earned applause and flowers. At one time, that would have been unthinkable. But now he was the one explaining to the Greens how nuclear power could be phased out. It'll work all the better if this common enterprise, our energy future, is supported by all Germany's political parties across the spectrum. That's the litmus test. Please do your part. Thank you very much. Can mainstream and fringe ever be compatible? Many veteran Greens already feel alienated. The phase-out of nuclear power isn't moving fast enough for them, and they blame the party. If the party makes any more compromises, it stands to lose much of its fundamentalist wing. We're no longer the ones who say we're against it or demand that this or that be done. Now we have to have a clear plan for how to achieve it. Green ideology has always been a bit uncompromising by nature, but the tone of party conventions is starting to change. The one-time alternative party is starting to look and sound more conventional. Success is forcing the Greens to make more and more compromises, even if the party leadership doesn't like to talk about it. 
We're so strong because we are who we are. Why should we want to get even stronger if it means we're not who we were before? But I'm sure we're on the right track because it's all about substance, credibility and the party's coherence. The Greens draw much of their credibility from their past, from a style of politics that they may soon be forced to abandon. But that may well be the price of success.